Okay, so welcome everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday night team training for the Shine Bright team. Today is the 30th of May, 2017. The year is racing by, that's for sure. My have name- you started recording this, sorry, Nikki? Yes, I have, Justin. Oh, it didn't look like it. Okay, thanks. Um, and together with my husband, Justin, uh, who's just keeping making sure that I was on track there, we're very blessed to be triple diamonds with the Sia. So that all that means is that we've been We've shared a see out with a lot of people and helped them transform their lives to the amazing powers of the redox molecules. And it also means that we earn a fantastic income with a see out. So we get to make a living while making a difference. And that's something that we want to share with a lot of other people so that you can have, you know, a, a great life as well. We get to work at home and co-parent our baby daughter. And, you know, we get to travel a lot. SIA even pays for us to go on an annual um, holiday. So this year we're going to Panama. So you can have access to all of those things as well but it all starts very simply you know we all start with no one in our team and it all starts by building a team so what I'm going to share with you tonight is how you can get your business off to a fast start and it's a simple guide to $500 in your first 14 days now as I said if you've been with the CEO for a while you can still implement this exact same strategy um, and it'll get you around $430 in commissions. Although if you've got some other people or you've already got a bit of a team, you're probably going to earn more than that in the 14 days. So does that sound good to everyone? Thumbs up. Yay. Awesome. Okay. So basically what you enroll in you and associate. So now what? So what do you do next? So when with this strategy to make it work really effectively, I encourage you to enroll all of your new associates with the Renew 28 promotional personal pack because that's going to work best for this strategy. So that's the pack that has six tubes of Renew 28 and six sample tubes of Renew 28. Now, if they want to enroll with more product, they want to enroll with the, the, um, the family pack or the entrepreneur pack, fantastic. Let them go ahead and do that. But this is like at least enroll with this, um, with this six tube pack. So you're going to get them to do the cellular health consult, consult and encourage them to use the six full size tubes for their family so they can document their testimonials and have their own personal experience with the product. However, you don't have to get them to wait to have their own personal experience to implement this strategy. They're just doing that, that alongside implementing this. So what it involves is three simple steps in the first 14 days. So the first step is to get them to book and hold two in-home presentations. The second step is social media sharing. So, you know, we all mostly these days are on social media and we have a network of people that we can connect with on social media. And then they're going to introduce six other people using the three times in five minutes strategy with Renew28 as well. So they're going to use these three strategies all in their first 14 days. Um, it's going to be pretty simple. It's not going to take up a ton of their time um, because everyone is busy. They're going to be able to fit it around in the things that they're already doing. So I'm going to go through each of these strategies one by one. So the first is in-home presentations. So this is the foundation for how Justin and I actually built our business to six figures. And very simply, in-home presentations, they work. There's other people on this call tonight, like um, Cheryl Penrose, and that's how she started her business and was able to rank advance and build a big team very quickly. And it started with Justin and I going up and doing two in-home presentations for her in her home, exactly like we're recommending that you start your people with. You can choose a theme for these presentations or have your new, new team member choose a theme. It can be called a cellular health breakthrough, a wine and wrinkles party. For both of these, I'd recommend that you use the simple flip chart presentation. Um, you know, you might just uh, you know, skip through a few slides for the wine and wrinkles, make it a bit more social, a bit more fun. They're really good time on a Friday night. Or a spa party. So there's instructions for how to do all of these on our Shine Bright team website. People are going to need to know that they need to invite 20 to 30 people to get four to eight guests. Some people might get more than that. Hey, if they've got a crowded lounge room and standing room only, fantastic. That's a really good problem to have. We recommend that you book two dates and get people to invite 50 people. Use the memory jogger in the share guide to help you, you know, make a list of people to invite. Get your upline to support you. Get them to come to your house and um, run the presentation. So if you're introducing a new team member, you go on the run the presentation for them. If they live interstate um, and they're not close by, you can use Zoom. They can Zoom you in and you can still do the presentation for them via Zoom. You know, maybe they can plug a computer into a TV so it's easy to see. 
and you can just you can do the zoom right there in their lounge room we utilized this a lot when we first started um when we had people teams building all over australia if people are so what is a really great thing about doing these events as well is a lot of people will be interested but they can't attend because they have something else on or you know they have a regular thing on that that the day that you've picked for your presentations but you can still say hey well would you like some more information you're going to send them a tool or you can invite them to our Tuesday night Zoom. So that's the one that's 8 p.m. Queensland time every week with our special guests um, that, are, that are going to be participating in that every week. And they can get an overview of the products and the business opportunity that way. So, you know, you like it's a really great way to start conversations by having these events. It's not just about who comes to the events. It's about all of the conversation that you create around these events as well. The second part of the strategy step two is social media sharing. So you're gonna pick the interest of your network through social sharing, like which is mostly on Facebook, and you're gonna, you know, be able to possibly then start a conversation with several people through this. So coach your new associates to do a box opening video on social media when their product arrives. Now this is the link. I will post this link in the comments of the live stream of this video in the Shine Bright Team Facebook group. And I also post it in the comments when I upload it on YouTube. So in this box opening video, I did um, an example of it yesterday. You're gonna focus on the product benefits. You're not gonna talk about the products and you're gonna get them to share with their network on social media why they are excited to try this new product. You know, so the benefits that they're gonna, that they see and why they're excited. So that bit, there's a video that explains all how to do this. You're gonna also have you know, gone through with your new associates to do their cellular health consults and they're gonna be starting to document their own experiences with the product for themselves, their family, the people they care about. So as they start to document these experiences over their first you know, week, two weeks, month, you're also gonna get them to start to share their product experiences on social media. So please remember to get your new team members, remind them to take photos because they are awesome, people forget, and they can just share their pictures. Like, look, I had this scar and this is what happened to it on social media. Would you like to know more? Keep it really, really simple. But just getting them to like, you know, be regularly posting things a couple of times a week on social media about why they're excited about Redox. And they don't have to mention the product name. They don't mention the company, just why they're excited about it. The third thing that you're going to get them to do. Now, remember at the start of this, I said that it's, you know, the, this strategy is going to work best if you get people to enroll with the six tubes that comes with the six free sample tubes. Now, why that's going to work best is because you can leverage those sample tubes to help you grow your business because they are a resource you have. You can offer them to people as a free sample and use it to grow your business. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna think about six people in your network that are gonna do the three times in five minutes. So there's a short video you can watch. Again, I'll put the full link to this in the comments that explains how to do this process. It's a very simple, very easy. You can do it with people in person or if people live a distance away, you can post them a tube, but you get them to call you when they receive it and you talk them through how to do this. So think about who you know who has discomfort, pain, sore muscles, restriction of movement. So write a list. So you know you might want to start to jot this list down now while we're on this call of people that you know that have these types of challenges because these are the best candidates for you to do this three in five process with. Um, um, so Carolyn has asked, is the six free mini tubes with the six tubes still available? It has finished for auto ships, Carolyn, but it is still available in the promotional pack when people enroll with six tubes, they still get the six free mini tubes. So this is, you know, focused on new associates. Um, if you are an existing associate and you want to do this, you can redeem your loyalty, loyalty points for sample tubes. So that's a way that you can get um, some sample tubes as well. I see we've got a raised hand now. I'll take questions Ooh, at the end of the call. So if you think about these people that have these issues, they're going to be the best candidates, as I said. So maybe you're going to contact these people with a phone call, a text, or a Facebook message. Think about how you normally interact with these people because, you know, 
there are different styles of interaction these days. Sometimes there's some people in my network I talk to more on Facebook message than I do on the phone. So you talk to them how you would normally communicate with them. And you can send them a very simple message, something like, if I knew something that could help you with your pain in your shoulder, your sore foot, your you know, joint pain, whatever it is that you know that they have an issue, would you be interested to try it? If they say yes, you can say, if I was to give you a free sample to try, will you follow my instructions and give me honest feedback? They say yes. You organize to give them the free sample. You follow the instructions that David Silverman outlines in his video there that I've got the link to. And that's what you do. Really, really simple. So this is three simple strategies, okay? In-home presentations, social sharing to pique the interest of people on your network, you know, using the box opening video as a start and then sharing testimonials as you experience them. And number three, finding six people to do the three times in five minutes, okay? So, you know, by doing this, you're going to actually be talking to a lot of people in your network. Now, don't use your sample tubes on the same people that are coming to your home presentations. Save them for people that are not at your home presentations because you can use one of your full, full size tubes to do the three times in five minutes at your home presentation. So save the sample tubes for people that are not going to be there. Okay. So what is this going to achieve. So this is earning 500 in the first 14 days, a little bit of a breakdown. Someone else sent me a chat. Okay. Oops. Okay. So basically, you know, if we're out, we're talking to all these people and we're doing this, this is like, you know, a pretty conservative estimate. If you do these three activities of what you um, should be able to achieve in your first 14 days. Four associates. So you're going to encourage them to four new associates enrolling with a six tube promo pack. And you're going to get 180 US dollars in fast start bonuses from this. Four preferred customers that are coming in with 100 PVs. That's a case of a SEA or four tubes of Renew or some sort of combination of that. Um, and that's 100 US dollars with, with them doing that. And then you are going to also get the director bonus by sponsoring two associates, one on your left, one on your right, in your first 14 days, you get a $50 US director bonus. Um, in addition to that, you will also reach the rank of director 300 by doing this. And this is without any of, you, any of these people introducing their own people. And that will get you 30 US dollars in 10 commissions bringing it to a total of 360 US dollars or $497 in your first 14 days by following these three simple steps. So that sounds pretty cool, right? To be able to achieve that in your first 14 days. So if you are an existing associate, you've been with us here for a while and you do all of this, you'll earn all of those streams except for the director bonus. So you'll get around 430 Australian dollars. So still pretty great, right? So I've just got someone who is um, not muted. So could everyone just please make sure they are muted? Someone has unmuted themselves. Okay. I have muted everyone again now. Awesome. Okay. So we'll just skip through to the last slide. Ah, Okay. So as I said, if you joined a while ago, you can still earn this, you can still do this strategy. You might want to think of leading your team to take this up as a challenge for yourself. Like get some of your team members in and maybe that have been in for a while and to, to put this challenge out for them to do. So to encourage you and to support you in this challenge, if you successfully complete this by 3 p.m. Saturday, the 17th of June, so that's just over two weeks, and you will get a special gift from Justin and I to help you build your business valued at $50. So it's going to be some things like some tools and um, you know, some guidance on network marketing, and we will post that out to anyone who successfully completes this challenge. So I hope that that is helpful for you. I'm going to stop my screen share now and open it up for any questions that people might have. So if you have a question um, for me, you can just unmute yourself and I will answer your question. No question, Nicole. Mm -hmm. uh, fabulous idea, thank you. Thank You're welcome. You. Okay, anyone else have a question for me?
No. So Cheryl, do you want to share? You probably did something very similar to this without the social media when you started. Um, and you would have earned that much in your first 14 days when you actually got active, mm. right? Uh, we did earn a fair bit in the first little bit because we we had two in-home meetings which you and Justin both came to. That was pre-joy baby days. <laughs> and I believe we had 21 people at one and 27 people at the other. And if you knew or had seen our house, you would know that was a very tight squeeze. And they have a small house, <laughs> so you can do it. And I think we put in 17 people into our business really quickly mm -hmm. because yep. we did in homes and that's what we taught others to do as well. Yeah. So you would say, would you say, Cheryl, if, you know, you do this strategy that those numbers I presented are pretty conservative in terms uh, of the people? Yeah, they are because yep. once you start getting a roll on and <clears throat> getting, you only have to introduce one person who knows three people that they want to help as well out of those people uh, the numbers get bigger yeah so it's not all about everything you do it's about helping those that you you invite to share it and if they say yes and they want to do the same thing the numbers are bigger than that definitely yeah. i just like to give you you know very conservative estimates and then you can get a big surprise if you get more than that right which is yeah. super cool or if you're teaching your new people that this is how they can earn five hundred dollars and they earn a lot more than that then they're going to be like super thrilled rather than the other way around <laughs> any other questions or comments or anything people would like to add oh deb hang on let me Unmuted. Um, hang on. Deb, Deb, Deb. Okay, Deb, go. Um, I was going to ask about um, that link you were going to put in. Can you tell, tell us more about that? Okay, so there's two links that I'm going to include. So the first link's link is a box opening strategy. So I did a recording of that um, yesterday. I did a Facebook Live and I put it in the Shine Bright team group. So it's basically um, that you share your excitement about the benefits of Renew28. So I'm really excited that this box has arrived for me that I'm going to get to open about this product I'm really excited about that's going to, you know, help me look younger. It's really great for wrinkles. Um, it's really great for discomfort. And I can also use it like on my baby for her nappy rash and things like that. So you're going to pick some benefits that you're really excited about to use it for. And you just do a short thing of that. You post it on Facebook. And, you know, like let people know to contact, like, you know, if you're interested in learning more about this, like get in touch with me and then, you know, start hopefully a conversation with some people in your network. So I'll put the link to that video in the comments. The second video is a video by Dr. David Silverman describing how to do the three times in five minutes um, strategy as a business building um, strategy. So sharing it with people who have those issues of discomfort, um, you know, joint soreness, restriction of movement, things like that, and how to do it in person with people and how to also do it with people from a distance. So they're the two videos that um, you can get people to watch to help them with the, sec the step two and step three of this three-part strategy. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Becky. Hi, hi Nicole. Hi, everybody. Um, just a query when you're first starting, do you... Invite everybody you know type of thing? Um, so when we did the in-homes, like when we started doing the in-homes, we invited everyone that we knew in the local area, like to the in-homes, like all of our friends that lived locally. Obviously, we didn't we invite our friends to the in-homes. Um, but then you can start inviting other people you know to these Tuesday nights that live further away. So, um, yeah, we kind of made a list and then like, for us, okay, so we're doing these in because you're doing in-homes, right? Becky is how you're going to start. So we prioritise that's how we're going to do. Do you want to talk a bit about how you list you listed the people for your in-home, Cheryl? Because Cheryl ran very successfully. Yeah, I was going to ask Cheryl as well. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we just looked at everybody. We've lived in our area for quite some time. Um, we did not stop at work people. We asked work people. I asked everybody that I knew from different things that I did in town. Um, I asked... Obviously, my good friends, uh, that's where I started. 
And what I discovered was when you start with the people you know fairly well, they trust you. And so they say, okay. When you start with people that you don't know too well at all, that you only sort of meet occasionally, you're not quite as successful in the beginning. So really start with, we had everybody that we knew quite well on our list. We yeah. started in the, the hot market, if you'd like to call it that. Yeah. And yeah. we just wrote down everybody. And there's a lot of people at work and we just invited everybody. And how did you invite them, Cheryl? Did you use text? Did you call them? No, like... we spoke to them. Yeah. Um, we did not use texts or emails. We actually physically spoke to them or rang them. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I, I prefer to, to see somebody and ask them, but of course that's not always possible. Yeah. Uh, so the phone is next best thing because they can hear the excitement in your voice, which is just so much more important than using a text. Because mm -hmm. can, can, emojis do not replace the excitement in your voice. Is no. that? Yeah. And sometimes <laughs> I send them the wrong ones anyway. <laughs> That's um, funny. Um, how about you, um, Jen and Jeanette? You've run a lot of you know, successful in homes. I came and did your first one for you guys too to get you to get you launched because Jen and Jeanette's um kind of direct upline is actually in Melbourne. So I went and did their first one for them. So do you want to share a little bit about how you got people along to your first one? Yeah, we just um we're so excited about everything. We just invited um we invited really our class to the first one. We didn't really branch out from there. We certainly didn't invite anyone in our local street. We still haven't done that, but um, we definitely invited our friends and out of all the people we invited, pretty much everybody turned up. And I think we had 24 people come on the first night. We did a Friday night. We just put wine and cheese out. Nicole, you came and did the presentation for us and it was, it was great. It was a huge success. And then within a week, we did another one mm. uh, the following Saturday, I think it was. And we had about I don't know, maybe 18 or 19 people there. So we had a, the people who couldn't make it that first week, they, some of them Zoomed around the following week and a few of the people who were at the first meeting decided that they wanted to bring a couple of friends to the second meeting. Yeah, so I think it's just the attitude of having two presentations close together absolutely works. And we did that recently. Um, we had the coffee meeting on the Monday morning and a presentation on the Monday night when Janine was here and it worked really, really well. Anyone who can't come to one usually can come to the other one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we, uh, we, <laughs> we sent out an email, we sent out Messenger, we phoned Those. people directly. Um, sometimes we, we have groups here for other things and uh, we just made an announcement at that, that some of those other groups, hey, we're having a, um, an ASEA Renew 28 presentation maybe you want to come. Yeah. And then we did, and I, we had a little flyer printed that we just handed people on the way out the door. Yep. So use like, I, I think using lots of different ways to invite people yeah. is, is great because sometimes you, it's hard to like make, get the time to phone everyone. So just invite heaps of people. And you know, often like, you know, not everyone you invite can come, but Jen and Jeanette had a really great turnout. So did Cheryl and David and they had a packed house, but you know, that's okay. If there's like, you're all squished in. It's great. It creates a lot of excitement. I've done quite a few that were like that where, you know, people were sitting on the floor and I was like sitting on, on the, the cabinet near the TV to do the presentation one time and it's fine. It doesn't matter if there's like lots of people there and it's crowded because people then are like, really, it's kind of really exciting. So, yeah. Any, yes, another question from Becky? Hang on, I have to unmute you. Okay, go. Can I just ask... Um you mentioned handing out the flyers, Jeanette. Um, I just missed the last bit of that because I was distracted with some kids. Sorry. <laughs> uh, look, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a Canva girl, so I I have lots of design. I find um, images, particularly on a lot of the um, ASEA or Renew. Renew sites, download the images, um, then I upload them to Canva, and then I design little flyers. And it's all free. Canvas free. It's all free. So I, I do that a fair bit of the time, uh, not just with not just with the SEA, but with a lot of the business design things I do. Um, and it's and the ones with the SEA, I usually keep really, really simple. So it just looks like, oh, I've just made that up. Some of the ones I do for the other things I do are far more professional. 
I keep the Asir ones really simple because we want it to just look like, hey, you just drop it around kind of thing. So it doesn't look like it's a big, full-on, uh, over-the-top kind of presentation. We don't want anything OTT. Okay. And did you, who did you give them to, the flyers? Just to whoever was here. We have them on the, had them on, we've got like a little hall table and uh, Jen has clients here. So some of those people got them. Some of our, I run a meditation class here and various other things. So whoever was walking in and out. just, oh, we, just we just have them. We might go to another clinic and hand them out to the clinic. And yeah. Well, sometimes therapists. we have them on us, even if we're out having coffee and we run into somebody and they go, we, we just have a chat about it. Yeah. Work colleagues you can give them to. Yeah, yeah, anybody. Just give them to anybody, everybody. Yeah. Mm. We even had a coffee somewhere and, and a woman was looking over at our shoulder saying to us, what, 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 what's that? I said, oh, it's a little, uh, little coffee meeting we've got coming up. Do you want to come? Here's the flyer. Bang. Yeah, so just sort of have them on you. Yeah. Okay, that's great. And what sort of demographic did you get to your party? What was that, sorry? What sort of demographic was at your party in terms of like, Obviously, I'm struggling because I know a lot of mums with kids and it's a bit tricky, but did you get lots of people that their kids are growing up or uh, how did you get 20 people yeah, in your lounge room? Just a, yeah. a mix. Yeah. And a mix. Start, with, start with your mums with kids. Yep, yep. start anywhere. Start, with, start, start in the market, you know. Yep. Hmm. And if, if you know they can't come to the presentation, then you can invite them to, to this online thing on Tuesday night. So, hey, look, you still, it can still be great for you to hear about this. And, you know, I understand you're busy. Like, so just, you know, one night, like, even if you're in your pyjamas, come along and listen after the kids gone to bed at 8 p.m. So, um, you know, that's really, that's a really great way. And, like, with the texting, like, so there's a text template that someone put together who also ran a really successful in-home launch. She had 17 people there and she just texted that out to everyone, like, to heaps of people that she knew and she had a big group come along. So there's no... I, th I would say, like, use, like, all the different approaches because it's, you know, it really does depend how you, com how you communicate with people. Um, so I know is, is, is Sally, I don't know if Sally is on the line. I don't think Also, she's also Nikki, um, so, yeah, having your, your couple of live events, so you always got to back up. you got bigger events in the diary that could be a month or two months or three or four months out. Then you got your weekly Zooms. And then at, at last resort, you've got a recording as well. So we have recordings of presentations. It's just that, uh, y you know, the more you, the more live it is, the more powerful it is. Mm. Uh, but when, when, and the more intimate it is, as in like an in-home, a small in-home is very powerful as well. The bigger events uh, are more, are less intimate for a new person, but more, uh, kind of motivating to people that have been in it a little while. Um, so kind of using it from small in homes to larger events, to online zooms, to a recording in order of priority for having the most impact. But there should, you know, there should always be an option for anyone to be able to have a look at it. Yeah. And Justin will be on the Sunshine Coast doing a live event next Wednesday night, I believe. Is that right, Cheryl? Yeah. That's right. So you can invite people along to that as well. I'll be and it starts at six thirty. It's a fairly early one because we like to finish by about eight. Because yeah, yeah. Because Justin's got to drive home afterwards too. But honestly, whenever we have Justin hosting, it is just super to get people there because it's fabulous. So we we'll on the Sunshine Coast. Send them along. Yeah. Don't wait for the opportunity. We'll post that on um, the Facebook group as well, so that you've got access to that. So does anyone have a final question for us this evening? Great to see so many people on the training call. Who is going to get out and try this 14-day strategy? Yep. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. Oh, Daniel's down there. Yay. That's great. So, um, yeah, I w maybe when I post this in Facebook, maybe if you're going to try this 14-day strategy, Say I'm in. How about that? If you if you on the Facebook post, let us know if you're going to try the 14 day strategy, so we can all help keep each other accountable. Um, and let us know if you need any support around that. Like you know, talk to the talk to your upline if you want them to come and help you do the in homes. One really great piece of advice with in homes: if this is your first, you're launching your business. I would recommend that you don't do it yourself. That you actually 
reach out to someone else to do it, like so that you're not the one sharing with your network about it, like that it's a third party expert sharing um, because it's just a strange human nature thing to have like someone else share is really often more powerful. So like reach out to um, someone in your upline, have them come and share with you. If they don't live, like share, do the presentation for you, like, you know, share about the products and everything. If they don't live near you, get them to do it for you by Zoom. Just Zoom them into your lounge room. So we're, um, if we'd like to do another in-home as well, just letting you know, Justin and Nicole. Okay, awesome. You'll have to book it. Book it in. I'd like to add to that, Nicole. It, we, we looked at what's happened in our business and what's grown and what hasn't grown. And the ones that get straight in and have a couple of large in-home meetings straight away seem to have a lot better momentum and a higher energy. Mm -hmm. Whereas others, we're trying to convince them for months just to let us come along and do some meetings, but they never quite get there. And that's sort of how they seem to keep going. So mm -hmm. but where people have done the meetings, like Janine down in Melbourne and all that, you know, there's huge growth in all that because yep. that momentum's and that excitement's kept going. Yeah. And it's, it's true, you know, like the people who have started um, and like have, like there's people on this call who've like started, they've launched um, Big In Homes. Carolyn actually there was what the first one that we did in Australia. She even had one before us because she got in first before we even booked our own and we went and did one for Carolyn. And they're all earning money out of a sea now, these people who launched like that. And some people that did that are earning a, you know, there are people that are earning a six-figure income doing that and other people who are earning, you know, really great incomes that, are, that have done that. So it really, it sounds really simple, but it really does work to help start your business and to you know help share these incredible products with people so and it's really fun it's like super fun way to do it as well so there's a question here about the recording yet the recording will be in the shine bright team facebook group and i'm also going to post it on the website and i'm actually going to re to the, the home page of the website and this will make up one of the things on the home page with just and I recording some new getting started videos and this will be one of the getting started videos I'll probably maybe even edit out the questions and it'll just be the first 12 minutes that was really really quick so people don't have to watch a really long thing um, and yeah that will be on that's that'll probably take a few weeks though because we're just finishing off the scripting for the other videos so in the meantime in the shine bright team Facebook group um, Marriott, um, does anyone want to do one here in Tassie? So we have the amazing Janice Dance down in Tassie, um, Marriott. And if she's not available, you could also reach out to um, Janine um, to do one via Zoom for you. And I believe Janine will be making a visit down there at some point as well. Are the four to be in your own line or both teams, Pamela? So the four would be four people that you personally sponsor and four Four associates you personally sponsor, so you're probably going to put two on your left, two on your right when you're first getting started, and then four um, preferred customers would be for personal to you. This is about getting people personal to you, and that's a really great start and a great foundation to get those kind of numbers in at the start. And if you follow this strategy and you do it successfully, I would be very surprised if you actually don't reach better numbers than that. Would you agree with that, Jen and Jeanette, having done it, something very similar yourselves? You just asked us about uh, starting off, did you, and about putting people... Um, yeah, I said, you know, I said if, if they do this strategy, um, yeah, yeah. I think that they probably will find they'll get more than the numbers that I showed on the slide. Well, that, that's what we were just saying. Um, in the beginning, we, we were under the impression we had to sign everybody up when we were <laughs> brand new as associates. Yeah. And what we, what I was, what we were just saying mm. now is... We even had some, I just did a sign up here today, but they didn't want to share. Uh, they wanted to share, but they didn't want a business mm. because they're a pair of missionaries, so they can't earn other money. So they've just got themselves involved as um, preferred customer customers. And they said, uh, we will share, but we want you guys to earn the money. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah. So, so you we'll lovely. send them to you and you can just enrol them straight away. We went, thank you very, very much. <laughs> of course. So Amazing. We've got preferred customers as well as associates. And, we, and, and, even, too. and even on that first event we did, we had a number of preferred customers. Really quickly after they had a product experience, they changed over to being associates within the first month. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're not 
sometimes we think we don't you don't have to really think about someone being an associate they can just be a preferred customer get yeah. a product experience and and, and, and you know and go half a it. dozen of ours just went after a little while you get you get a bit more um you, you can get a bit more, can't you, um, from being an associate? Yeah, you can. So they sort of yeah. work it out. Yeah. 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 I think it's good to do both. Yeah, that's great. And, you know, people, you let people choose. So your actual numbers yeah. might be different. You might more have more associates and more and less yeah. preferred customers, but the, but the income is going to be pretty much the same. Like yeah. no matter what yeah. they enroll as in those first 14 days. So yeah. it doesn't yeah, that's really it. matter. Yeah. But if yeah. you follow this strategy and you do it really well and you give it 100%, and you invite those people along to events, like you like put it in, you're like inviting 50 people at least along to your two events and you're doing the social sharing and you're doing the three and five. I would be very surprised if you didn't get more than eight people. <laughs> but I, I'm just thinking um, as we're going along that the strategy that you've just spelt out here for everybody, you could be setting that challenge for yourself, you know, on the first of the month of every month to kickstart yeah. your month. Yeah, that could be, uh, okay, Every month we'll start the first 14 days and see if we can hit that target just as mm -hmm. a way of getting momentum for every month. Yep. If so you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you didn't. But it'd be a way of setting your own goal. Any, anyone who does this by whatever, did I say the 17th of June, who completes this strategy by the 17th of June, they're gonna like we're gonna give you like a gift worth fifty dollars. Just and I'm gonna send it out to you. So you know, there's a bit of extra motivation for you all. Mm. So it'll be wow. something cool because we always do cool stuff. <laughs> you <be> sure do. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be a surprise. I'm not going to reveal exactly what it is, but it'll be something really cool. I've got some cool ideas. But so yeah, and Carolyn, you launched your. Um, so Carolyn, like you know, you think that you don't know what you're doing, but Justin and I went and did Carolyn the first event in Australia for Carolyn. We got the slides like 45 minutes before we had to present. Carolyn had like 15 people in her lounge room. And uh, how many people did you enrol from that event, Carolyn? It was amazing. And, like, we had not a clue what we were doing. I just have to unmute you, Carolyn, so you can share. Yeah. Okay, go. Mm. We ended up with about 13 in the, 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 the two weeks mm -hmm. um, after that, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. And we drove up to Bundaberg four hours away from us and did that. So, you know, it's, it really did work. <laughs> Even though we were like not sure what we were doing, we were putting the gel on people like because nobody knew anything about the gel because it was a new product worldwide. We we're putting on people and they're like, "Oh, my sore joint in my thumb doesn't hurt anymore." We're like, "Really? <laughs> That's so awesome!" <laughs> it was fairly entertaining. <laughs> so it, was quite really entertaining. <laughs> it was great. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. I'm gonna oh. yes. Can I can I just quickly say something? Just supporting something that David mentioned before. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm actually going to say this from the point of view of not having done something. Because when I first met you at the first presentation I attended, I had a dramatic product experience, but we had all sorts of circumstances that meant my feet were nailed to the floor. So I'm going to say to newbies who are out there, regardless of what is going on in your life, go for it now. Because we would be in a very different place if I'd been free enough to do it then instead of taking grinding away over months <laughs> to get it happening. Yeah. I mean, I'm certainly expect, accepting the challenge right now. So watch this space in 14 days. Mm -hmm. But I just would really, from the bottom of my heart, advise anyone who hasn't started, just do it. Yeah. Okay. And, like, you know, maybe you're going to go out tomorrow, right, or the next day or sometime this week and you're going to enroll some new team members. You're going to like be talking about this. You're going to enroll them. You can enroll them in the 14 day challenge too and grow your business even faster and, you know, get these products out into the hands of more people that need them because they really do make a dramatic, dramatic difference in people's lives. So with that, I'm going to close the call and take a short break and I'll be back at 8 PM to do our um, product and opportunity presentation. And tonight we have two very special guests. We have a naturopath, Michelle Glassbrook um, from the Darling Downs, who is going to be sharing how she is using the products 
and in her clinic and getting, you know, really great results with her clients around those. And then we also have Paula Melville Clark, who is a silver executive with ASEA, who's going to be sharing what the ASEA business opportunity has done for her and how it's helped transform her life and opens up new possibilities for her as well. So, um, if you have some guests maybe that you would like to invite along to that presentation, you can maybe text them and message them now and see if they can come along. It'll be back on this same Zoom ID in 20 minutes. So thank you. Everybody.